After years of imprisonment within the Emerald Nightmare, Arc Druid Malfurion Stormrage has finally returned to the mortal world. Reunited with his love, Tyrande Whisperwind, Malfurion endeavors now to heal the corrupted world tree Teldrassil and rejuvenate the spirit of the Night Elf people. Yet as the great cataclysm shakes the boughs of their colossal tree, the Night Elves brace themselves against the coming storm. As war and destruction close in from all sides, it falls to Night Elves like you to stand strong and protect the enduring legacy of your people. Greetings everyone, it's Dixby here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back into the Let's Play series of World of Warcraft Classic with the Cataclysm Pre-Patch. Yeah, we are heading back here today on an old beloved game of mine. I hope you are interested in as well. Uh, this game will basically replace NO1800. Uh, I'm not into it. I had not too much fun I think I would have and yeah with that as said uh, I found out Cataclysm pre-patch is coming and that was for me the right time to start off a fresh new experience here on World of Warcraft Classic finally now with the Night Elf playable mages what I really really love uh, I always wanted to play that but didn't wanted to play retail and I'm happy that it's now on Classic as well. So, I'm not familiar with Cataclysm, I've never played it. And so we shall begin. We are playing with a couple of add-ons, they are all listed below. Should be 10 in total. Uh, we have, for example, Questy, Details, Bagnon, Leatrix plus and maps. Uh, scrap chunk seller and very good luck here with the small blue pouch. <laughs> and uh, deadly boss mods as well. And that should do it. I hope the sound settings here are great as well. I want to make a, a very good cozy ambience here. I want the episodes around an hour long and yeah, at least 40 minutes. Between 40 and 60 minutes. And here yeah, Cataclysm Classic has some issues that I can't really read all the quests because sometimes it just skips that. I don't know if I can change it somewhere. I didn't find anything so yeah. We choose our bracers here as you see here. It skips sometimes. I don't like it. What we can do is here you seem to know what you're doing. Perhaps I can task with something a little more important. As you may well know, the corruption Tetris was supposedly wiped away. Yet something lingers. The creatures have not calmed and all manners of problems still plague us. I need you to deal with the Kraken that have gathered to the west and while you're there I want you to search them for Felmas. This will help me determine from where this continuing corruption stems. And we have another quest here. By the way, we are playing on the US East Pagel server. I am listening. And I don't like that. <laughs> uh, wishes little Krill, they've been stealing from our food stores again. If you wouldn't mind lending a hand, they are sure to have my stolen bags within their camps to the west. I would be glad to reward you if you bring me them back to me. So I will do. So if you're wondering why I play such curious times, um, yeah, for now it's 10 a.m. or 10:48 a.m. in my times, and 
while we do this. Yeah. The red time is just where uh, in the US stuff that is. But as you might know, I don't live there. I live in Germany, but I like to play on the US server because the Europe server seems for me a little bit dead. And most of them, for example, when I play on Everlook or Venoxus, those are all German communities. And if we have a dungeon or raid going on, I want that you understand everything. And it doesn't seem for me a big problem here. I mean, we play with a little bit of a higher ping. Yeah, 130, but that's completely fine. Everything walks smooth here. No lag so far and stuff like that. And we need a little bit more bags there. And I'm so happy with uh, the Night Elf Mages. I always wanted to play a Night Elf Mage. And it's working finally as well. Undead Hunter. So if we ever want to play a hard playthrough, it will be for sure an Undead Hunter. I created him as well, or already on the main crit server. Uh, both have the name Morpheus, I like the name. I know she's female and Morpheus is a male name, but I don't give a damn about it. <laughs> so yeah, both are Morpheus and both have and bank account. Uh, on the alliance side I have around 10 gold and on the hard side I have around 78 gold. Uh, because I played already a little bit and transferred it to the bank account. So if we need something of gold I can send it. But uh, I want to try it without. So here we are. Demonic Thieves. Alumbi Praised. And you as well, young mage. Farewell. Thank you very much. And satisfy my suspicion, your service to the creatures of Shadow Glen is worthy of reward. You confirmed my first, however, the Kraken are still attended by Thelmos, despite Tetris's blessings. Something sinister remains within the tree. I can only hope that the Knarpal tribe of Thelbox are free of the corruption, or we are still in grave danger. I will look, in, uh, I will look into it further and contact those who might be of aid. Thank you, mage. No problem. I don't like the auto accept of the quest. But. Can do this. And the Forbidden Sigil. I hope the Sigil finds you well. And the Archmate told me of your coming, and I sent word immediately. With all that has happened in the past years to bring Arcane Magic back to our race, you may find struggles and trials ahead. I can help with such things when you are ready. Find me inside Eldrassil on the second level. Ryanda Mage Trainer. So before on Ref to Lich King Classic and on Burning Crusade. I played mostly hard side. I have um, since Burning Crusade, I have a Blood Elf Mage, but on the European server. And on Classic Classic. I started with um, an undead rogue. So what do we have to do here? We are in the eras of uh, to our legacy of arcane magic, and your path will not be an easy one. Many still hold us responsible for the actions for our forebears, but our talents are needed. I want to show you a new spell, arcane missiles. It allows you to fire volleys of arcane energy, but if you won't be able to cast it all the time, casting other spells has a chance to create an opportunity for you to use arcane missiles. 
I wanted to try it. Look for a training dummy near the southeastern edge of Eldrassil. Alright, so we get our arcane missiles. Maybe on shift Q. So we press Q for fireball and then shift Q. And the same again. With that, our quest is done. Mm, yeah, maybe I should have done that before. Uh, for our professions, we want to go with skinning and tailoring. It's already, oh yes, that's great. Wenders as well, uh, class trainer. Yeah, perfect, everything is set up. I knew you would master this lesson quickly. You are a credit to the highborn and to all our kin. Remember, as you grow in power, return to me and I will instruct you further. Good luck, friend. What and we have a new quest, Priestess of the Moon. Now that you're practiced in your new ability, perhaps you'd be willing to aid us in further pursuing the corruption haunting Shadow Clan. The Terrier Silver Glade, Priestress of the Moon, has offered to aid us. You should find her between the two pools just north of our great tree. Circle around the tree to reach her and offer her any help that you can, young mage. I will. I definitely will. I definitely will. Maybe I change something here because of that. No, uh, that. That I meant. The other stuff I can turn on again. So we don't see any of that. So if we maybe head over to the Maelstrom and on Deep Hall, we don't see anything. Just the dungeon here. And that's great. So we don't get spoiled, but we can look around and see what happens to us. So here we see, for example, that there's a city, but that not off. To be turned off. So we are here. It is good that you have come. It seems your training progresses quickly. Our friend Everin is fallen to poison from the nearby web with spiders. You can tend to him to keep his state from deteriorating, but I need someone to gather an ingredient to prepare him as a, an antidote. All around the ponds you should find moon petal lilies. These flowers have great healing properties and I can use them with the ingredients I have already to restore Everin to better health. Would you gather them for me? There should be many just inside of here, near the water's edge. Oh, sure. I hope the audio settings are okay. I changed them a little bit. But yeah, I made some test records and some of them were okay, some of them were the games not too loud or too quiet. And sometimes I was too loud or too quiet. And now on my last um, test, it was okay, and so I tried. If not, I have to change it on a Premiere and change the audio settings again. Our dear friend is not doing well, even with my mending. Have you brought the supplies to him? For sure. The Woodland Protector, I must ask something more dangerous of you. Strange news has traveled to me through the whisperings of the forest spirits. The mysterious Woodland Protector, Terran Trella, has returned to Shadowclan again. The Triad's presence has not been felt in the forest since before the blessing of Tetrasa. Something is surely amiss if she has journeyed back to this land. Seek out Terran Trella in the Shadow of Red Cave to the north. It is dangerous, but we will be prepared with the antidote just in case. Yeah, a lot of quests have been changed. We can... Yes. Hello, Terran Drilla. Where are you?
So we sneak around here. There she spawns! What is nature's call? Hi. I'd hope to never return to Tetris for such crap business. I'd hope that this corruption has been wiped away completely. Something fall lingers. These spiders suffer more deeply from the corruption than the other nearby wildlife. They are becoming a danger to you people and a danger to the forest. We must thin their numbers, but more importantly, we need to find the source of the corruption that plagues them. I will come with you and aid you in this. Thank you very much. How kind. But our ratio passive is still the same or into the shadows, reducing the chance that enemies to detect your presence, yes. That was a great hit. Two times in a row I can't use my arcane missiles. And we will go for frost back here if you want to know what talent, talents and guide I'm using. Look into the description box. It's from wowtpc.gg. I like it. I know Frost is not the best, but I like Frost mages. And oops. And as long as they are playable at all, I will play it. Maybe we will change later on higher levels on fire. If we don't have any chances to survive, but I think for now, it should be fine. Oh yeah, we have to walk other way. Are they turned on as well? Yes, so we can turn them off basically. They aren't turned on, alright. Here, I don't know why they are. Alright, but we won't use them. What I can do is put that stone here. Uh, yeah, and I used the cursive as well. But you should have seen it by now. Ah, the great outdoors. This corruption these spiders suffer from is not simply surface deep. It cannot be magical subtle melantmen. It is bred into them. It seems our next task is clear. I think so as well. While touch, if these spiders are born of corruption in their weans, then their brat mother must be at the root of this evil. Let us make our way to the far north and of the cave and seek our Giffis the while the answers we seek lie with her. So we will do. So when I saw it correctly with level 7 we should get frost board. So yeah frost armor is Oh, it looks so bad. No blizzard for a while. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Evocation is nice. But where's Blink? There's Blink. Level 16, that's okay. 
Kongshu refreshment is level 38. What is this? Food and mana food providing the mage and her others with something to eat. Alright, it's food and and drink. Alright. Then we have here Arcane Brilliance. But where is my single buff? It doesn't exist anymore, right? No, it's only mana sheet here. Or do we have it already? No. What's that? Increase the chance to gain a skill increased on trade skills by 10%. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. I will look forward to them when we have unlocked it. Alright. Those bites are very, very... Can I please? Oh, I can't. Do you have something for me? Just a hair, perfect. Uh, Giffis and her brother were being corrupted by this totem. This is a Fulbog totem. This is very troubling indeed. This means the Knallpai are still in danger to these forests. We let our guard down too soon. Ah, Signs of things to come. I will pursue the trail of the Knallpai and track this corruption to its source. If you ever encounter Afrida's bare mantle in Dolanar, he knows immediately of the problem that plagued this forest and he can direct you on how to help further. But Dolanar, is it? Isn't it the level 70 city? I'm sure we will meet again with time. Perhaps you can aid me in dealing with the source of this corruption once I locate it. For now, I will take you back to the interior so that you may finish your training. Thank you for all you have done. No problem, but thank you for your teleport. Everyone is better. We have here a knight of druid as well. I hear other players as well. Oh, a lot of people. Great. You have returned, it's good to see you. It seems you've dealt with the source of much of the corruption in Shadow Clan. Tadrasid still suffers and will need attention. But we can afford a moment or two for you to finish your training here in Shadow Clan. And Crown of Azeroth. As part of a ritual to complete your training here in Shadow Clan, you must learn about our recent history. There's a task you must perform. Go to the Moonwell to our northeast and retrieve a file of its water. While there, you will witness a glimpse of our magics and learn our past. When you are done there, bring the water back to me and I will direct you further. Okay. Uh, there. I don't know why they have changed it that we don't have to walk up anymore, but... I take it. I take it. Much has changed for our people since the Battle of Mount Haicha. I think so. <laughs> she is doing the exact quest. Recent history is fraught with strife and violence. There is still much which, which we must come to terms. Well done! O only once, or already one silver. That's great. And we are level 5. In Tenderin Storm Crib oversees all that happens to this clade. He pres uh, presides at the top of Eldrassil. If you look to yourself, you will see the underside of the ramp that leads up to him. As can this ramp and complete your training. It was wonderful to have met you. I will I swell with pride knowing that among young night elves, there are some so selfless and full of life as you are. 
You will do great things for your people, you will do great things for this world. Until we meet again. For sure. But first... Mage Trainer. Listening to this music makes me happy and I don't know why but recently on Spotify I found here an artist named Bits and Hits. I really recommend the artist and they simply take video game music and turns them into lo-fi beats. So with such great hits of World of Warcraft, Zelda, Witcher, Last of Us, all that great music, Minecraft even. So they turn the music into great lo-fi ambience. And... Mm, on the day I don't listen to it too much. But, uh, for example, when I have um, to work in the morning, I go outside at 6 a.m. It's the perfect time to listen to, or when I have to work in the evening. And I walk my home at 8 p.m., 8.30 p.m. It's such a great time to listen to it as well. And it's great to listen to. It has something peaceful in it. Greetings, mage. The movies hold the waters of the world of eternity, the ancient source of magic that was wrought so many horrors upon our world. The druids take advantage of its properties, the sentinels revere the wells as shrine to a loon, and now even the returning highborn look to the wells longingly. So you have heard the first part of the aftermath of the Battle of Mount High Channel. There's much more for you to learn, and the task you have begun here will continue through the rest of your journey through Tedrissa and into Danassus. While there is more I could speak to you of the Moonwets and of Tedrissa, I must send you along. Carithra's Moon Rage will be expecting you. I have purred this file of water you brought to me into this vessel to bring to him. Seek out Corinthus, you will find him at the Moonwell in Dolinar. Follow the route south from Eldrissa out of Shadowclan, and continue to follow the cobblestones as the road turns west. Mind you stay on the road though, these are dangerous beasts in the forest of late. Go in and we got the immune to be uh, for 4 damage, so we can simply go here and take our way to Dolanar. Oh, oh, oh. And there is our first achievement for 65 yards without dying. So yeah, we have 33 achievements. Great. <laughs> what do we have here? Tirith's Fall, Silver Pine, Red Ridge, Dunmurrow, Loch Modan, Westfall, Elwyn. So yeah, you know what I have played, already played. I had a channel uh, one and a half year ago uh, where I played World of Warcraft as well. But I don't have the have the YouTube account anymore, that's a little bit sad, but we built here our great future along with story games on my PlayStation and here of World of Warcraft, so if you like it, you know what you can do. Dolanar Delivery. Greetings, young mage. You can offer me aid. I have a package of herbs that I must deliver to the town of Dolanar, but I still have business with the druids of Shadowclan and cannot yet leave. Can you deliver this package to me? It must be sent to innkeeper uh, Kedimar or Kedamir 
at the Dolonar Inn. It lies along the road to the south. Uh, am I just stupid? So this is Dolonar, but what is called a great city here? Can't I just tip in? Dalaran, ah, nicht, no. Not Dolanar, Dalaran, ah, well, okay. So I guess she's playing with Olums? And it's a human. So this should be, oh no, it isn't, alright. It's a priest. Level 3 is a little bit rushy on the way, right? Or oh, we can change that. So yeah, I'm using Questy for now. If it's too buggy or stuff like that, I would disable it. I mean, Blizzard has uh, activated their own quest stuff with Phase 4 on Rev of the Logican Classic. So what do we got here? Eagle for Ruggers, you lucky for you. A day never goes by the dawn which I had a fletching mate to perform my bidding. You see, I can make you very happy and provide you with things you never dreamed of having. But in order for that to happen, you must bring me certain items. My business in the forest often requires certain reagents. Fetch for me night saver thanks stretched all feathers and swatches of webwood spider silk. Let's keep this our little secret night off. We will until they find out what we have done. Uh, nothing alive here. Nothing is so really alive here. There's another spider. Maybe one or two of them drop some... Um, more spider legs we need for cooking. But I don't think it does. Small spider leg, there it is. There's a night saber. Oh, what is that for? It's actually better than mine, great. I don't know why a night saber has a pants on it, but take it. And the tiger's eye as well. Great. Maybe we can sell it on the auction house. So yeah, as I said before, for the professions I want to go with, skinning and tailoring, as well as cooking, fishing and first aid. So maybe I have to buy a little bit of linen cloth and stuff like that. 
if you don't gather enough from humanoids. How many people are here? Only four. Oh. How could we miss that? So we don't have much life, right? And now we need... Lightsabers. Can we do it with locate nightsaber? Oh no, it's slash target nightsaber. It's dead, dead. Just another one. Ah, here. Great. And another one is alive. Somewhere. There. Great, there we are. We can turn that quest in as well. How many are here, by the way? Wasn't it here? And... Was it here? No, I don't know. There were a window where you can look on how many quests are there, but... I will find it out soon. Don't touch me! <laughs> well done indeed. Who would ever have guessed it? I, Saint Fallhoof, would have a night of to do my bidding. Certainly not me, but so it is goes. This beloved world of ours is full of surprises. Free cheers for the naive and gullible. Yeah, and we got a bag. Foul bag, but... It's better than no bag. And now we can head up to Dolanar, so we have quests here as well. But they're level 9 and 12. It's a little bit sad. So, first of all, I want to render my stuff and accept some. some professions. And what fly points do we have? Oh, okay, so we could head up to to the Exodar, to Darnassus as well, down to the Roof Terran village, into Darkshore, okay, and into Azawatch as well, to the Azure Mist Isle, so if we want to head up there, we can, and I want to look as well. We can go into the Mount Hyjal crate. That was locked all the way. So yeah, that's a lot of lot of lot of new stuff to me. And I'm in love with that. <laughs> and I'm clearly in love with that. So we have here a first aid trainer. Oh, can I learn something as well? No. Cancel or dead. Thank you. We go upstairs to the general goods and buy their skinning knife. No, trade goods then. Yes.
And then <laughs> there should somewhere here oh yeah here profession trainer. So Irenus, thank you for heading out for me. Tell me about gathering professions. Uh skinning. Skinning allows you to remove and prepare the hides from slain creatures. These can be sold at the auction house or used to support the leather working professions. Skilled skinners also become masters of anatomy, increasing their chances to critically hit targets. You'll need a skinning knife in order to skin creatures to keep a from the trade or leather working vendors. So train means skinning please. And tell me about production professions and tailoring. Tailoring allows you to fashion armor, clocks, clothing bags, bell thread and other similar items from various types of cloth which can be purchased or taken from slain humanoid enemies. Additional necessary materials such as threads and dyes can be purchased from trade or tailoring vendors. Highly skilled tailors can also upgrade their clocks with magical embroidery. Enchanters are often tailors as well since they can disenchant the magical items they create. And train me in tailoring. So when we go here, no. Professions. Unlearn and unlearn. So skinning we don't need, but we have tailoring here, first aid here. So we have cooking and fishing. So let's head there to cooking. She has a quest for me. Here with the spice bread, we can train our cooking. And we don't have to have materials for a cooking fire, that's great. Oh hello, how are you doing? So let's turn in some quests here. What brings you here? Greetings, hello. Ah, I see you were sent by a Teneron. Well, then it would seem we have much to talk about, much to do. Before we get to task at hand, you should take in the lesson of this moonwell. Let me tell you more of these tasks you must complete. The truths of in Darnassus use the water of the moonwells of Tedrosol and their moonwell must be replenished from time to time. Using these specifically crafted fires you can collect the water of the moonwells. Take this vessel to the moonwell outside of Star Priest village to the east and fill it with some of its water. Then return to me. Pay heed to the lessons of the moonwells lest we find ourselves furthering our shortcomings. Alright, I will fill it up. But not today. And here's the innkeeper. So first, this one, dollar no delivery. How oh, might be of service? Ah, yes, the delivery of herbs from Shadowclan. It's a shame that Portanius could not bring it himself, for we have much to discuss, he and I. But I am glad to get the herbs non evilas and I am glad you came. While you're here, please rest yourself. Heroes must keep their strength and spirits high and must find rest in Solas whenever they may. For to necklets one piece of body and mind is sure path to failure. So rest. Ah, uh, I would do. Oh, we are level 6. Great. But first... But first, yeah, let's accept here all the quests we find. A troubling breeze. A troubling breeze blows through the forest. A garrulous Talvetrine serves a great warden to the uh, hibernating druids of the Tainland in the Ben Evil Barrowden. His duty as the chosen protector of the sleeping is to ensure their safety so that their pact with Isera remains fulfilled. Or Isera or Isera? Isera, I think. But word from Garrulus is now delayed and I grew nervous. Travel east to Starbreeze village and bring back a report from Garrulus so that I can put my worries to rest, knowing my dreaming pre friend slumber safely. Uh, I don't think so, but I can look for you. Up here should be a quest as well, or is it down? 
Maybe it will come later. So, here. A seek redemption. The Council of the Forest has news that you aided San Fallhoof. A desatyr is an enemy of the forest. As a night elf, you should know better than to defy the forest by killing nature's creatures. You must redeem yourself in the eyes of the Council if you wish to remain a friend of Tedrissa. Teach Fallhoof a lesson and you shall be redeemed. Falcons are corrupted seeds that fall from the trees. They billow with green smoke. Give some to Fallhoof. He'll think you have brought him a harmless snack. Uh, I will. <laughs> I will. And the Emerald Dreamcatcher. I was once given an Emerald Dreamcatcher from Garolus Telvedin, the Warden of the Druids in Ben Ethelberadan. This powerful amulet is able to siphon energy from the Emerald Dream, bestowing luck upon those who carry it. Sadly, I have not been able to retrieve it from my treasure in Starbreeze Village. Although Starbreeze was once a tank well, Place, it had now succumbed to the corruption of the full bug that reside there. Perhaps you would be willing to recover my dreamcatcher mage? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. And then we have our cooking quest here. Uh, remind us of home. A friend of mine, Sister Aquin, is training to be a priestess of the moon in Dronessos. She left Donala to study in the temple last year. Her letters say she is doing well and learning much, but she misses home and her old friends. I've put together a book of her favorite recipes from Dolanar. If you have time, would you take them to her in Dronessos? You can rent a hypocrite from Ephedilio. He's in the center of town, just across from the inn. Oh, that's new. That quest. I know back from her uh, we have to kill some spiders for a recipe with uh, the, those small spider leg. Do we still can do it? No. Here, uh, maybe she has a recipe for that. Uh, smoked fish, fish, fish. Uh, all right, yeah, then not. Okay. So with that, we can maybe start off by teaching Folho for lesson. Mm -hmm. I saw them already. Oh, we can skin those. Great, great. One. Great. Foul hoof, I have something for you. Please come and look for your gift. You again? What do you have for me? A lovely snack, I presume? Don't touch me. Ah, what a sweet night of. I knew you would come in handy. And a rabbit. No, this cannot ribbit. Ribbit be. You have dubbed me. With ribbit, you fall trickery. Ribbit. So yeah, now you are a ribbit. Not a rabbit, a ribbit. So we can turn that in, we are cleansed, we are free, we are still a friend of the Highborn, still a friend of Tedrassel. But 
Darkshore is still 10 to 20. I'm pretty sure we are much higher level now when we leave Tarnassus, or there are less quests. Uh, but saying that, we have two new here, so let's accept those. Echos, uh, Resile. I am glad you were willing to atone for your mistake. It speaks a great deal about your character. I have another task for you. I have gathered some arrowroot seeds. They are somewhat fel like fell cones, but quite a bit more potent. Nature often responds very negatively to demands, and these arrowroot seeds prompt a very concentrated form of that reprisal. To our north and fell rock, they are kraken that are far beyond redemption. Use the arrowroot seeds to route them before they become a more serious threat. Alright. That's a new quest as well, and what do you have? Twisted Hatred! I must warn you, this matter must stay between us. The satyr are enough of an embarrassment to us already, and this one is much too close to home. He is called Lord Melanus. He resides in the nearby cave of Thalrog to the north, where he has gathered a large group of grey warriors. His heart is black as night, and he plots something most foul. You must find him within the nearby cave, just to the north of here, and bring me his head. Uh, I will. And I take you here as well. I am Good How can I help you? Farewell. This is very tough for of Naoma. For a few coins I can arrange quick transportation to the capital by Hippocrif. Everyone in Dolanar is so proud of Sister Egwin. I am certain she'll be pleased to receive this tough full gift from Naoma. When you're ready to travel to Danassos, just speak to me again, and for a few coins you can hire a hippograph to take you there. I am told Sister Egwin enjoys the solitude of a small plaza just south of the hippograph master in Danassos. Look for her there after you arrive. Alright, so we speak to him when we have to. But for now, I take a quick break here and I say here, thank you very much for joining in and we see us on the next episode. Until then, cheers.